Algebra 2, this is Chapter 7, Section 3. There will be four videos on this one. Um, we're going to write expressions in quadratic form and then use quadratic te techniques to actually solve the equations. So the first thing, what does it mean by quadratic form? Quadratic form means um, the first term is squared, the second term is to the first power, and there is no exponent on the third term. So let's take a look at this. We've got x to the fourth, x to the second, and no um, x or no uh, variable on the third term. We can put this in terms of a different variable u, which seems a little bit um, different from anything you guys have done before. So if I were to rewrite this and say that u is equal to x squared, then I could say that this were u squared minus 16u plus 60. And that would be in quadratic form. Now, if you don't want to use the u's, then this would mean that this was x squared squared minus 16 x squareds plus 60, where you still have this being to the second power, this term being to the first power, and no variable on the third one. So let's take a look at some of these. So this one, we've got to the sixth power, to the third power, and no variable over here. So this could be written as 2 times x to the third squared plus x to the third to the first, if you want to write it, and then plus 9. And that would be rewriting it in quadratic form. And then you could use some of your quadratic techniques, which I'll get to in different examples. This one? Yep, it can still be written in quadratic form. So this would be 7 times x to the fifth squared. And then basically this is 0 times x to the fifth, which you don't have to write this part, and then plus 6. And now it's in quadratic form. You could use the quadratic formula on that. Another one, so this would be x to the fourth which if you took that down, that would become x squared squared. But then this one you would be looking to make this a square, and you can't really get a cube to become a square uh, by taking it to an exponent or anything. So this one is just not possible. And the last one down here at the bottom. Um, yep, yeah, we can even do it with fractions. So this would be actually x to the 1 third squared plus 2 times x to the 1 third. Again, that would be to the first power and then minus 4. And now it's in quadratic form. You could use the quadratic formula on that.